Kyle Plush found himself in a race against time, trapped inside his minivan with no one aware of his predicament. Desperation gripped him, compelling him to dial 911. In those harrowing moments before help arrived, he conveyed a heart-wrenching message to his mother. At that fateful juncture, Kyle Plush was an average high school student living in Cincinnati, Ohio. He attended Seven Hills, a private school in the city, and on Tuesday, April 10, 2018, he had plans to attend an after-school tennis match. It is believed that the 16-year-old had gone to his 2004 gold-colored Honda Odyssey to retrieve his tennis gear from the rear of the vehicle, possibly climbing into the third row seats to reach it. Much like other similar minivans, the third row of seats could be folded down to create extra storage space. Tragically, this feature became perilous for Kyle, as it seemed the back seat folded unexpectedly as he reached for his equipment. According to reports from the Cincinnati Inquirer, as Kyle placed his weight on the third row bench, it suddenly flipped backward. This unfortunate event might have occurred due to the seat not being securely latched in place when converted from its folded position to a bench seat. As the seat shifted from its upright position, it somehow trapped Kyle plush underneath, leaving him in a dire situation. He wasn't holding his phone, so he resorted to voice commands to dial 911 after becoming stuck. Kyle's initial emergency call was made just after 3 o'clock p.m. The dispatcher attempted to ascertain his location, to which Kyle replied in desperation, I can't hear you, I'm in desperate need of help. When pressed again for his whereabouts, all he could manage was a frantic plea for assistance, repeating, help, 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 I can't hear you. The dispatcher persisted in asking Kyle for his location, leading to an increasingly frantic response from the distressed teenager. If you don't send help, I'm going to die soon, Kyle implored before the call abruptly ended. A deputy assigned to traffic detail at Seven Hills initiated a search of the high school's parking lots during this time, eventually reporting back to dispatchers, I looked in a van and I didn't see anybody in it, according to CNN. While the deputy conducted his search, a 911 operator tried to reconnect with Kyle Plush, but the call went to his voicemail. However, miraculously, the determined teenager managed to reach the emergency number once more. During his second call, the 16-year-old's voice grew even fainter than before, but this time, he put his limited strength to more effective use. Plush provided a clearer, more precise description of his whereabouts, urgently stating, This is not a joke. This is not a joke. I'm trapped inside a gold Honda Odyssey van. The background noise captured by his phone's microphone included unsettling banging sounds as he spoke. Then, in chilling words, Plush uttered, I probably don't have much time left, conveying the gravity of his situation to the 911 operator. In that moment, he shared the most heart-wrenching sentiment with the dispatcher, pleading, tell my mom I love her if I die. Despite this additional information about the van and Plush's heartbreaking request, officers still struggled to locate him. Plush's parents remained unaware of their son's ordeal until one of his classmates informed them that he had not shown up for his tennis match. Plush's mother, Jill, promptly contacted the police to report him missing, stating in her 911 call, my son never came home from school and we thought he had a tennis match. Simultaneously, Plush's father used an app to track his son's phone, ultimately leading them to the parking lot where the Honda Odyssey remained parked. Around 9 o'clock p.m., six hours after the initial 911 call, dispatchers received another call related to the incident. The caller reported the tragic discovery in the parking lot, saying he was stuck. Looks like he was turned over in the seat. He's stuck there. He's been there for a while. The county prosecutor later confirmed this account, stating that Plush was trapped in the third row bench seat. Subsequent autopsy results revealed that Plush had suffered asphyxia due to chest compression, indicating that his chest and lungs were unable to expand properly, resulting in suffocation within the confines of the van. The 911 dispatcher who received Plush's second call, where he provided crucial location details, has been placed on administrative leave as authorities investigate how this tragic event unfolded. It appears that the call handler, Amber Smith, failed to relay essential information about the minivan's make and color. 
Meanwhile, Honda stated that their 2004 Odyssey had no seat-related recalls. However, Plush's school issued a statement that underscored the true tragedy of this unforeseeable accident, the loss of a promising 16-year-old student. Kyle joined the Seven Hills community in the sixth grade, the statement read. He was a young man of keen intelligence, good humor, and great courage, and this entire community deeply mourns this loss.